Hello and welcome to the second lesson in this course. Today I'll teach you how to create the component symbol. First, we'll need to search for the component itself. We want to use the at mega. Let's search Google for the datasheet at mega 32 8b. Then click enter. As you can see, we have a lot of files. We want the uh, PDF file. Let's see if this is the one that we want. There is other files as well, but we want a file that has everything that we need uh, regarding pen diagram, the distance between pens, uh, the pens, and uh, how many there is their names let's open up okay as you can see this is the at mega 328 slash p and this is a full data sheet now you can go to another website to download data sheets it's called zar or za dot rs dash online dot com okay this is uh, an online website where you can also find data sheets i prefer the google method you can simply write the name of the item then dot pdf and it will show you the results in pdf files then you can check out what you want you can also search this website for the bars as you as you can see here and you can open any of these bars then check the pdf file let's see let's search for the au module because there is lots and lots of modules here, as you can see, we have the AU. Uh, this is the PDF file. We can simply click it. And it will open up here for us to download. And as you can see, it has everything that we want. Here is the bin diagram, how many bins. Uh, how these pins are arranged the type of each pin as you can see this is a very uh, informative data sheet here is the pins the space between each pin and the next one uh, these values are very useful when creating the item in the Altium designer so let's see let's return to the first okay we don't want this pin diagram if you want it you can use it we want this pin out as you can see this one or we can use this one depending on the ic that you have this one is called tqfb it has 32 bin now let's start by adding a new library integrated library for this design by clicking here file new as you can see here project then integrated library this is our integrated library now as in what we did for the project file we added schematic and bcb here we want to add a schematic and bcb for this library so right click on it add new schematic and then again back to the project add new and bcb okay that's it let's save the integrated library back to the project here and save okay 
let's go to here inside the project we want a library folder to store our library let's name it at mega p okay save also name it with the very same name uh, don't change the extension here just as you can see now we have a library with the name at mega 328p uh, with both schematic and bcb file that's it for creating a new library and now you can simply add a schematic to this library and you can add a bcb okay now open the schematic file as you can see this is the schematic file open it to create the body of ic we want 32 tqfv package so let's go here okay this is the 32 bin tqf B package this is the body of the IC that we want to draw so let's simply go here and click place here we have lots of shapes you can choose any of these we want the rectangular shape you can edit it okay now next we want to add the bins this is the bin uh, as you can see you can simply start adding bins here now let's go back to see the ic that we want to draw okay let me get back here we are starting from bin one there is no bin zero so we don't want this bin let's delete it and let's increase the size of this screen click the control uh, key from your keyboard and uh, the scroll from your mouse to zoom in and out so that you can increase or decrease the size of this rectangle as that you can see here let's start placing bins pin Bin one two three four five six let's see how many bins is there one to eight then nine to sixteen okay seven eight now let's reduce the size of this okay one two three to eight nine here we have the nine to sixteen let's go place pin rotate it okay again let's go to the bin you can add this pin simply by dragging here now we need to rotate this pin using the space bar you can rotate this pin so let's rotate it 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 let's rotate one more time 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 let's see then 25 to 32 up here so place pin and the space bar again 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 and 32 so this is it for adding the bins next we will change the bin names depending on the data sheet but that's it for this lesson i don't want to make it uh, longer uh, thanks for watching if you have any question regarding anything please ask in the q and a board I'm more than happy to help. This is Educational Engineering Team. Thanks for watching.